Hey guys, how are you? Okay, so in reading last week, you were supposed to log in to Epic and read the book about the biography of the Pokemon creators. I hope that you have enjoyed this book as much as I did. So what we're going to do this week is to work deeply on biography. Okay, we have already said that a biography is a narrative about the most important facts of a person's life, okay? But what about writing biographies? Um, what elements do we have to take into account to do that? Okay, so I'm going to explain a little bit more today about that. So when we are writing a biography, the most important thing to keep in mind is the timeline. Why the timeline? Because I want to know kind of a lot of stuff about the person we are writing about, okay? So the timeline helps us identify when that person was born, okay? Where was born, and it gives us an idea about why that in person is important for our lives. I mean, why did we choose that person to write about? About the facts, well, then we will say why that person is important for us and what are the facts about his life, okay, that make us choose him as the subject to write about. Dramatic changes. It is not about bad things. Dramatic changes are, for example, if our person moved from one place to another, if he or she went to a different school, or if he decided to take up an activity, a sport, a new hobby, that then became something important in his life. And then finally, we have to think of some inspiring, okay, thinking, or some inspiring decisions in that person's life. Um, in the Pokemon's author biography, we can see that it was very inspiring his decision to continue working on video games, even though they were not very popular at that time, but now look what it ended up, okay? So reflect about these four main structures of, of a biography so you can start working on your, um, on your biography.